Dublin Marley here, back again. More War on the Sea. Doing some Italy versus UK battleship fights. Should be pretty fun. I've got both the Marco Polos, both the Columbos. Two of the weaker Italians, and then all four litter uh, the L class guys. And the British have pretty much all their good stuff. Alright. Let's get this on the road here. Let's form up. Take a look at the. Pretty battleships. All three of these class, or four of these class. Then we come to the 16 incher. Another 16 incher, I think the Marco Polos. Then we have the Colombo classes with 16 15 inch guns. These are the beasts. Wait, what? I don't know how this happened, but this is pretty funny. Well, I'm going to uh, turn right. Actually, and then Marco Polo and the rest of them. Are going to turn this way. What a mess. <laughs> I put them farther apart on the map. Oh my god, this is gonna be brutal. Is this battle seems to deader, man? Holy crap, man. Look how fast that is. I mean, I don't think I could even... By the way, you need to smoke. I mean, I know it's not going to help you, and you're going to die real, real quickly. Alright, you guys... Floor it. I need you, like, yeah. Then I need you, like that. Ooh, the G3 is already down for the British. I'm sure mine is about down. Probably gonna die here quickly. Yeah, my guy's already gone. <laughs> But I think I have a pr 
pretty distinct advantage because I have more people firing broadsides right now. Here's my last ship in the line. Still fine. You know what? You should probably be smoking. trying to get these crappy battleships up here to take the brunt of the fight. got three down I got two down hopefully they're starting on this guy ooh they're going after my good guys I get you guys into the game quicker. Ooh, this could be a good win for the allies here. that fire under control. What a mess. I meant for them to be farther apart. The mission ep editor is kind of a little weird. you guys you guys can just stop these guys gotta worry about those are 20 inch guns man
guy is hammered. First two lead ones are taking a hit. Six to eight right now. That ship's pretty much toast. These guys are about ready to get hammered. Got a lot, a lot of nice damage though. down to six now and they've got six as well but they all look pretty wounded this guy looks pretty good that guy looks toast He looks pretty bad too. So these guys don't have a lot of ammo. I don't really like them. Like each main gun might be able to sustain a battle if you're lucky. So this was pretty much the best that Britain had to offer and the best that the Italians had to offer. I think the Italian battleships are way too strong in this game. I don't even think he has any guns in action. I 
That one might be good, actually. Yeah, these are these two are gonna the Roma and that one are gonna sink for sure. Right, you're still alive, so good job. His guns are all screwed up, too. Yeah, that one's going down. Pretty good fight, pretty good fight. Now I can't wait to play the Axis side of this. Comparable. And the line went down. There's the incomparable. Apparently, I have two incomparables. The three G3s went down. The lion's down. There's another lion right there. I actually picked the ships, though, the right names. I'm down to four though. They got four. But they're pretty hurt and my three are really good. The other line drops. Wow, his guns are pretty much toast, except for one. Alright, let's slow this down a little bit so you don't catch fire. Too much. got two guns in play. I don't know what this guy's doing. I think he's doing a good imitation of the French. You know what? If the Germans and Italians are lacking ships, they should just steal the French ships. Give them to the Germans. Or if they make the game. <laughs> or if they make the game, like, t start in 1939. 
the French can live till uh, they get ran over. Ain't nobody stopping. Ain't no one stopping uh, Italy. That's all. I, that's all I gotta say. Oh, another lion down. That guy is not looking good either. He might have this gun in action and that gun in action. What's funny is I meant to have these guys like at 20,000 and they started them at like 3,000 feet. <laughs> or 3,000 yards. It was crazy. So the real battle, the rear battleships just destroyed each other. Like my 9 and 10 dropped. His 10, 9, and 8 dropped. It's really these guys that are the ones that are doing it. Having four extra 15 inch guns. And then they got nine, I think six inches or eight inches. Six inches. So it's got like a light cruiser on each side. Well, this is the last guy. I mean, I lost all my literal. I lost. I lost all the other battleship classes. Ooh. And this guy packs a punch. sure about their ability to withstand damage but those 20 inch guns man that's just not right these guns are all still in play though That had to hurt.
somehow this guy's still alive. He's about to go. Really, that's the small guns, I think, that's killing him. All these little guns right here. That's 12 three inch guns or whatever firing at you, or three and a half. And they're firing HE. Dark fires. Come on, boys. Yeah, he's critical heavy. I got two completely unwounded ships. He's doing a pretty good job staying alive. Plenty of ammo. And he still has 13 knots, man. It's time to start moving again.
Yeah, this guy's gonna go down. He's gonna burn. that water line I'm pretty sure she's about to go flood another compartment I think I took all the guns out. Hey, what's going on, New York? Watching the world end. Letting the British fight 10 battleships versus the Italians. It is not going well for the United Kingdom. I mean, it's... They completely crippled this guy. But these three are all going to live. He'll be in the shop for a long time. These two are probably completely undamaged. goes all sunk ooh they scuttled the Marco Polo so three ships survived not bad Oh, what do I want to fight? Confused. I didn't know I did that. All right, you go up there. So I'll take the three new German battleships. And then we'll try...
So they have the Iowas, but this bugs a lot. Like, I've tried to fight them before. Yeah, I think the Iowa is bugged. So I'm not going to fight the Iowa. And then we'll get the South Carolina in there. Or South Dakota. In the north. There you go. And you're going to go 20-ish knots. And you're going to head zero. That should be about right. How many ships did I pick? Four. We'll give the Germans something. They could have the Bismarck. Uh, yeah, I'm just, um... I played three games of, uh, the late Sicily campaign today. And so, I was kind of like, on day two, I'm at 67, no, I'm at like, I might be at 80 ships sunk. I don't know. I'm at a lot. <laughs> and I've noticed a lot of problems with the game. That it's kind of like... I'll probably move on from it really quickly. I just want to play the uh, German and Italian ships. It's just, uh, I'm finding invincible planes, like, uh, the two-engine German dive bomber or whatever. <coughs> it's not the Stuka, but it's a different one. Whatever it is, it's invincible. The Lancasters are invincible. You are correct on the German four-engine bombers. Those things can't be shot down. <clears throat> and I think almost every air base has a, a plane replacement issue so they're not replacing airplanes So there's just a lot there's a lot of issues I'm gonna probably wait to play it again whenever he fixes the issues I'm probably gonna start writing down every time I find something and then I'll just catalog like a huge list of stuff that I think needs to be changed I don't think the Americans are going to do very well here. They don't 
look that good though. I mean, they are 16 and a half inch guns though. Already looks bad. Apparently, the uh the, the Chinese mod came out too. The one where you fight land battles. So have you completed all your revisions on the Indian Ocean one? Well, they all took damage. form up. Let's get a little bit this way. Let's make sure we get those rear guns in play. That was real convenient of him. bad.
So they have the Iowa in the game, but they don't have any weapons on it. So weird. Man, that guy looks bad. You slow down, heal up. Slow down and heal up. And you two guys, you're gonna chase. Thirty three, yeah, thirty knots. It's not bad for a battleship. Yeah, it's... Basically, I think he just wanted it so bad that he got it to where he could play and fight, do stuff like this. But I don't think he's going to be able to take it much farther. Either way, still getting the get, getting most of the ships in is pretty good. But I like the struggle of trying to trying to win when I shouldn't win. Dang, these guys are beasts, though. They stay alive, that's for sure. They're both really wounded. Ever since you told me that compressing makes it less accurate has made all my naval battles last so long. For, why do they rock for ammo? They rock all right ammo. I mean, I guess these would be all right surface raiders. So how's the uh, Indian Ocean mod going on right now? You fix everything up and the new missions and 
AI and whatnot. gonna get this guy too these guys are probably gonna make it Yeah, I had to test this one out. Just It's basically just views like this is the mod that people really want, I think. Is they really want to play the they want they really want the German and Italian ships. I can only imagine like a world mod and the map. Imagine have imagine having to play this game on a world map. That'd be nuts. Yeah. I can only imagine how bad the Pacific mod will be just for the fact of how do you how do you control like four different battles and planes going to different places you're just gonna have to go so slow so you don't mess it miss it if I'm going to get these guys. It does. Third. 19,000. No, that's secondary gun. 13,000. And then it's got 16 4.1 inch guns, 12 5.9, and 8 16.5. So it's basically like a, an up armored light cruiser times. And it's basically an up armored light cruiser and a battleship. <laughs> And they seem pretty um, stout also. And then I got the Bismarck.
12, 16, 8. The Bismarck doesn't f fare very well, though. It got its ass beat. I don't think I'm going to get this guy. I might get him. Fix your fire guy. Well, he's still got two in play. The real killer in this game is the air power, though. The ships are actually aren't that powerful, comparably. Every base has so many airplanes. That it's almost... It's almost impossible to like keep a fleet in being. You almost have to have a carrier or like a whole bunch of uh, fighters with every group. But even then you'll still run into the problem of invincible airplanes can destroy you. I lost two battleships due to uh, Invincible dive bombers. Well, I think they're going to run. treat this so they lost two two of them were good to go they hurt one of them pretty badly the other one are he's hurt too but 
these two are pretty much untouched. They would have won if they would have stayed in fight. If they would have stayed and fought, they would have lost really badly. But yeah, they have um, the G3s, which I have no idea what class of battleship that is, but nine 16-inch guns on these for the British. That's what I figured. Same with these guys. The 20 inch guns. And they have a reload time of 36 seconds. They actually do quite a bit of damage though, so pretty nice. It's really just the Italians. The Italians... I think the Italians, like, made off... With these Marco Polos... And these Columbos. Those four battleships... Are probably the best battleships in the game. And, like, if you run up... Basically, if you have a battleship and they have that... They're probably gonna win. And AA, they're just insane. Go German. So we got that. The Admiral Hipper. Deutschland. Oh wow, they don't have any uh, fake, uh, they just get their normal heavy cruisers. These Zaras are pretty good heavy cruisers. They fight well, that's for sure. is a good British actually let's go with an American one I have no idea And you're going to south at 180. And you're going 30. Yeah, that works.
I'm just curious. I've never actually seen cruisers these these cruisers fight it out. The more I play, no, the more I play the uh, Mediterranean mod, the more I'm convinced this game is really made for World War I. Yeah. The air, the air action's just... The fighters are too weird. And the air action is just... It can be overpowering, I think. It's hard to balance, like, how powerful air power is in real life. Because you gotta think, like, what percentage of bombs from dive bombers actually hit the target? Americans might win this one. I, I don't know. It's already listing pretty badly. That guy might go down. <clears throat> so I saw that they released the, the Chinese mod. And I'm just kind of waiting on uh, people to, to post in the discussion forum more about it just to see how much how much problems it has and whatnot feels like it'll be pretty good
I probably will. I think I want to finish the the 1943 Sicilian campaign. I already won the first one. And I'm at like 60 to 80 ships sunk. In day, by day two, I think I had 67 ships sunk. So I don't see how they're going to even have ships by the end of the week. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I lost ships. And I thought I thought invading um, Sardinia would be easy. So I popped down like 3,000 troops. Literally, maybe 5%. So it might be one of those things where I'm gonna have to go weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Yeah, you lose a... Uh, if the Admiral... An Admiral lost that many ships... There'd be Admiral's heads on pikes... Outside Mussolini's office. So I'll probably give that game a few more whirls and see like how bad how bad the invasion slog is going to be. But you have to take every single port away on Italy to win the game. So that means I have six six or seven cities to invade. Like, resources won't be a problem. It will be finding troops will be a problem. So I'll just have to wait weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks till I build up enough troops to invade a city. And then go in with like 40 destroyers and drop them all off. the Americans. Well, they lost one too. percent operational though I think the Americans are going to take this yeah they are they're definitely going to take it
So I got a crazy question that you might have the answer to. So, here's a heavy cruiser, right? Are all these armor ca calculations taken into effect on how much damage is done by other weapons? So I thought. Wow, I should have way more armor. Or I'm using inches, and these guys are using... Now they're using the same stuff. Touche. Well, I don't think the Italians are going to fare too well here. He's a little wounded. Let's look at that overall, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm toast. Oh, yeah, especially since I have two guns out of action. American heavy cruisers. I think that's one of the biggest problems with this uh, is the Italians and the Germans, they just don't have the ship numbers. So any game you make, they're going to end up tons of U boats.
Oh, at least this one's fresh. Are they out of ammo? No way. Alright, they're not out of ammo. If I can get lucky on this one, maybe I can win. That guy's completely out of the fight. And for some reason, running. They are pretty, but the only thing I don't like is their turrets. They're so big. Come on, Americans, finish me off. These are ugly turrets, too. They just had more guns. That was a nice hit. And they have a nice amount of ammo. I think I will look forward to playing the Italians one day.
I'm surprised this guy's still alive. Go so slow, man. He looks bad. If you guys would stay and fight, I might win. Take a look at the scoreboard here real quick. Yeah, I probably won't win. Sixteen thousand. Hoping they burn themselves down. Yeah, we'll give the other side a little bit of time to get hit. A little more joy.
He's actually pretty healed up. And he does not look good. Man, this last czar is a beast. do have a lot of ammo so I'm actually kind of impressed with this uh, these would be good like cruisers only thing that doesn't only thing that's bad is they only got eight guns Got a nice fire going. play. I wonder why the computer does this. You figure, like, on ship versus ship fights, they would just suicide. Like, I don't understand why they always run. Even when the odds are good for them, they always run. Doesn't make any sense. Touche. So they're not suicidal like humans.
Like, these three ships should have pressed the fight. Because they would have won. But now he's l taken at least one gun out of the fight. And let me completely heal. I don't know if he's smoking anymore, though. All right, I think I'll call this one. Americans pretty much kicked their ass. I don't think the czar was ever gonna catch them. I do not know how to get to the main menu. Hey, I'm going to take off for like five minutes and come back and play um, the Mediterranean campaign. If uh, you want to join me in like five or ten minutes. I got to save this and then uh, reset up my stream. Okay, man. Later. Later.